Hello everybody, it's the Film Optimist, um, and today I'm talking about Hamlet 2. Uh, I love this movie. It came out in 2008, um, stars Steve Coogan as Dana Marsh. This Dana Marsh. Um, Dana Marsh is a recovering alcoholic and failed actor who has become a high school drama teacher in Tucson, Arizona, where dreams go to die. Uh, despite considering himself an, inspir an inspirational figure, he only has two enthusiastic students, Rand Posen and Epiphany Sellers, and a history of producing poorly received school plays that are essentially sta stage adaptations of popular Hollywood films, his latest being Aaron Brockovich. Uh, when the new term begins, a new intake of students are forced to transfer into his class as it is the only remaining arts elective available due to budget cutbacks. They are gener generally un unenthusiastic and unconvinced by Dana's pretensions, and Dana comes into conflict with Octavia, one of the new students. <clears throat> Dana is floored when Principal Rocker notifies him uh, that the drama program is to be shut down at the end of the term. Seeking to inspire his students, Dana undertakes to write and produce an original play, a sequel to Hamlet, featuring time travel to avoid the deaths of the characters and new, more controversial content including the introduction of Jesus Christ as one of the characters, complete with the song and dance number titled Rock Me Sexy Jesus. Um, the kids gradually warm to the project, but Bran, cast as bi-curious Laertes and overshadowed by Octavio as Hamlet, storms out of the drama group and provides a copy of the play's script to Principal Rocker, who orders Dana to, to stop the controversial production. Um, Dana is further traumatized when his wife Bree leaves him for the uninteresting but fertile Border Gary that they had taken into their home to supplement their modest income and reveals that he himself is infertile. Uh, despondent, Dana falls off the wagon, tries to abandon the project, but his students encourage him to continue, arranging an abandoned warehouse, arranging an abandoned warehouse and rave spot, technical assistance and security being provided by the high school's football and wrestling teams. Um, Dana also learns that the cancellation of the play has become a civil liberties issue encouraged by fanatical ACLU activist Cricket Feldstein. As a result, the play opens to a sold-out house, including a critic from the New York Times. Rand returns to the group, apologizing for his desertion. Dana allows him to return to the role of Laertes. The play itself initially meets with a mixed reception due to its controversial content and mangling of the original play. In keeping with a running joke throughout the movie, much of the content revolves around the characters using time, time travel to mend their troubled relationship with their fathers. It ends with both Hamlet and Jesus forgiving their fathers for the wrongs, doing, <laughs> the wrongs done to them. Although initially reluctant, uh, to engage with the play, with several protesters infiltrating the audience to stage a direct protest, they, the play gradually wins the audience over. Dana and his favorite actress, Elizabeth Shue, whom he is now dating, meet <laughs> Dana's students to prepare for the show's Broadway opening, complete with the original cast. God, that's a shame. The budget was $9 million. It only made $4.9 million. This film is fucking phenomenal. Um, I still have yet to read Hamlet. Um, I, I consider myself a fan of Shakespeare's work. Um, much like I did with Stephen King's, um, without ever reading a single word of text from his fucking books. Um, same goes with Shakespeare, you know, to be or not to be, you know, that is the question. Um, like, it's just a name that you hear and just like, immediately you're like, oh, I respect that person. I, you know, it just commands respect. And just that name, William Shakespeare, like, holy shit. <laughs> um, so it's like, so I haven't read Hamlet. I've seen Lion King, which is based on Hamlet. And I know the general story. The gist of it is like fucking everyone dies in this shit. Um, so it's funny. Like Steve Coogan is very underrated. Um, I feel, and he he plays Dana Marsh, and he's he's like yeah, he's got problems with his dad. Um, he plays Jesus in the in the play as well as you know he wrote he wrote it. Catherine Keener is she, was she she was in the Forty Year Old Virgin. Um, yeah, she was cool. David Arquette, Amy Poehler's Cricket Feldstein, Elizabeth Shue as herself. That's a really funny part where he meets her. He's like, oh my God. He's like, shoot. He's like, she's like, I got to go do something else. Like, she's working, like, fucking, not the DMV. She's working somewhere else. And she's like, yeah, but my acting, my acting career didn't pay, you know, pay off. You know, I was a child when I started. And, you know, now, you know, what am I doing? You know, the, the Karate Kid Adventures and Babysitting. Back to the Future Part Two and Part Three, um, yeah. Then her career like kind of met at like a at an impasse. There was, there was a stalemate. There was, I don't know what word I'm. I'm just throwing out words right now. I'm really inspired by Shakespeare right now to just use the extent of my vocabulary. Um, 
but like it's fun like she's not she's working she's a non-working actress she's like you know but he's like gushing over her and then he's just like she's like i gotta go get something you know nice to meet you i'm glad you know always good to meet a fan and he's like oh okay shoe shoe it's like <laughs> fucking so cringy it's so funny um octavio is played by um joseph julian soria um and he's really cool he's like the the typical cholo like he's not really he doesn't act like a cholo but he dresses like it he's a mexican dude and he's just like you know whatever and he's just like he's a class clown and then he really gets into the role of hamlet and fucking like really latches on to this role um ran the one that is the bi curious laertes he casts him as bi curious laertes and it it the reason why he quits is like i don't want to be this i don't like this i don't like this all this bi curious thing he's like who cares it's just a role it's like no i don't want to do that played by skylar aston who's fucking awesome he's in pitch perfect pitch perfect 2 you know a bunch of other shit too like he's he's been in a lot <clears throat> if you see his face you're like oh okay i know who he is for some reason, Pit, Pitch Perfect is the only ones that are... There's a voice of Roy and Wrecked Ralph. I don't know. Um, he's got that face that you just know. He's the main love interest in Pitch Perfect. Um, television. That's what I'm looking for. Was he in Glee? He was in Glee. Um, yeah. He's been in a lot of shit. But uh, he comes off as, like, queer. And so he's like, I, aren't you bi? Like, don't you, or at least gay, like, aren't you something? It's like, no, 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 no. Like, I, I mean, he just gets really upset about that. It's pretty funny. Phoebe Stroll was Epiphany. Um, God, I don't, she, she looks familiar. <clears throat> Marshall Bell is Principal Rocker. Um, but yeah, no, it's just a really fun movie. Um, really funny. It's up there with probably in my top 10 favorite comedies. It's just so funny. Um, there's, there's another part. Where they get the this this gay men's acapella group and to to like sing backup for their for the for the play, um, that was really cool. God, I can't. It doesn't say it doesn't show here. I really wish I could give them a shout out because they have really good voices. Um, but yeah, definitely check it out. It's a it's a great movie. Um. You know, I just kind of do these, like, as they come. Like, I'm like, oh, what am I reviewing today? And I get kind of excited. Like, I'm like, oh, yeah, I did watch this. That's uh, that's how I felt with this one. I was like, oh, let me check this out. And fuck, like, Hamlet 2 is so good. I need to watch that with my wife. Um, you guys have a good one. Have a, have a happy 2021.